So before you go off and buy all the filament that's printed this stuff, I'm gonna show you a little bit on how to print it because this is the TPU EVA foam filament that I'm using. And because it's so flexible, you're gonna have to keep some printer settings and printers in mind. So first of all, you wanna do this with a direct drive printer that's recommended for all TPU filaments. And this is because like, as you can see, this filament is very flexible. So every time it gets pushed through a 3D printer, it's going to coil and warp and get stuck in stuff. But also if you use a, a tube printer like this one, this is a tube printer that I have right now here. What it does is it's going to get stuck in the tube while it gets pushed through the tube. So you're gonna want to have a printer with a direct drive printer. So that means that this motor here that pushes the filament is going to be positioned right on top of this moving hot end unit. So that's a direct drive printer. You're gonna want to have that because like here's a regular filament. So this is what it does when it gets pushed. This one is rigid and this one immediately bends. And on top of that, you want to keep a couple settings in mind. And uh, for this one, it's a slightly different than a regular TPU preset. So my most important print settings for this is, um, so I'm printing at a 255, 225 uh, Celsius. And what I do is I print very slowly. So on a 25 millimeters per second. And I print without retraction. So you're gonna want to have like a geometry that requires very little retraction. So when you have this print, this is printed sideways. It needs some retraction to go from this point to that point, for example. So um, that was a little more difficult to print. And as you can see, it's a little bit iffy on the bottom because of that. You're also gonna want to have a very little overhang. So no supports preferably, but also like it shouldn't overhang more than 45%. So like this. It gives the best results. Then uh, the retraction is off and uh, cooling is very minimal. It's 50% cooling I use. You can turn it all the way off, but I like to have a little bit of cooling. And uh, one of the more important parts about the very short TPU is that it expands while it is getting heated. So it gets actually bigger as it goes through the nozzle. And because of that, you want to set your flow rate to about 60 to 70%. And what this does is it also saves 60 to 70%. So about 30 to 40% of print material. So you can print 30 to 40% more with one roll of very short TPU compared to the same weight of regular classic TPU. And it also means that your prints are going to be 30 to 40% lighter than a regular 3D print. Which is very convenient for cosplay, honestly, so I love that. But because of that, you're going to have to adjust your flow rate for that. Otherwise, it's going to get out bubbly and everything else. And other than that, the print settings are pretty normal. TPU stuff. So I use like four balls and uh, usually a gyroid infill because a gyroid infill will be the most uniform type of infill that will make sure that the squish is uniform in all directions. That's it, happy printing!